All right, Jimmy's Barbershop is giving back to law enforcement, military personnel, and frontline workers by offering free haircuts to them today. Casey McKinnon's live in Point Loma with details. Casey, good morning. Hi, good morning. And uh, Mark Mathis, you weren't kidding. He really does sound like Mark Wahlberg from The Departed. We're over here with Jimmy the Barber, Jimmy Greaves. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? So tell us a little bit about your story. How has it been for you as a barber over the past year? Well, I mean, just like everyone else, it's been, you know, a rough road, small business uh, with the pandemic and everything going on. It's it's not an easy thing to do, but you got to hang in there. You got to have faith and keep working hard. And that's what I've been doing. And I've been getting busier and busier as, you know, the days have been going on. Things have starting to open up more. So I'm glad to see that. And yeah, it's, you know, it's been tough for everyone. Yeah, and now you're encouraging people to reach out to you because you're giving back to local law enforcement, healthcare workers, and the military. So why is that important to you, and why did you choose to do that? Well, you know, everything going on and stuff, and uh, with, you know, the headlines with police, police brutality, uh, defunding the police and everything, you know, I felt as though our first responders were kind of given a bad rap, and, you know, it's not like I can make a big donation to the police department or anything, but I'm trying to do what I can do with what I have. I own a shop, so the way, the ability I have is to be able to give them a discount, show them they're appreciated, and they matter because I feel like we really take them for granted sometimes, and you know, if it wasn't for them, you know, we wouldn't be able to have this. I wouldn't have this shop. We wouldn't be able to live the way we live. I love that. So how many have you had come to you so far? A majority of my clientele is uh, police officers here in San Diego. I have a couple fire firemen and uh, maybe one or two EMTs because it's all first responders, fire, police, and EMTs, and in, including military, active and non-active, because they're all just as important. And what is their response to you when they come and sit down in your studio and get their hair cut? So the military discount is pretty, you know, popular, this and that. But when the police officers come in and firefighters, they are surprised because, you know, I, under my experience, I haven't seen uh, shops offer that. It's usually just military and mostly active military. And that's kind of, I disagree with that a little bit. I think we all should show all first responders, all active and non-active military members, our appreciation. So that was my view on it. And that's why I give what I give. And what services are you giving them? So it's everything. We do everything from, you know, your classic men's regulars to hot towel shaves, bald fades, lineups, you name it. I can do it. Um, the way when I opened this shop, I really wanted to create a place where people could come in, get a great haircut service, good conversation, your classic barbershop experience. But I wanted to go more into the experience part of it. So by doing that, every person that comes in we supply them with a beverage we got beer whiskey soda water um the beer and whiskey is always changing i'm always taking suggestions and everything so you come in tell me what you want i'll go and buy it for you you got to be 21 and up so sorry kids but um yeah we do that and what really is our money maker is at the end of every haircut we do a steamed neck shave it's your regular classic neck shave but with a steam machine and it's basically like having a hot towel on your neck the whole time I'm shaving you. And then we finish it off with a eucalyptus hot towel around your head with a neck massage. I have a wireless massage gun. If you've seen it, athletes use it, this and that. And I massage the back of the neck, the trap area to leave all that stress and tension because that's where we all hold it. And, you know, God knows everyone's a little stressed right now. <laughs> well, how can people get a hold of you to book an appointment? And how many days a week are you doing this? So I'm open Thursday to Monday, Thursday and Friday. It's 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And Saturday, Sunday and Monday is 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can either call the shop to book an appointment. Or you can go on our website. It's hairbyjimmyg.com. You can book online there. It's very easy, self-explanatory. And if there's any issues, I tell all my customers just to give me a call. I'll make it work for you. Well, it's very great to hear that you're giving back through all this when it's been a tough year for barbers and hairstylists out there. So, Jimmy G, thanks for having us. Jimmy the Barber. Thank you. Ali and uh, Jason will go ahead and send things back to you. But Mark Mathis already has his appointment booked. It's already in the calendar. Nice. Yeah. Hey, is Jimmy from Boston? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't you tell? Uh, just a <laughs> little bit. Not at from all. Boston. Yeah.
<laughs> Just a little Southie. bit. Yeah, Southie. Southie. Oh, Southie. All right. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Well, God. that's that's really cool stuff that he's doing out there. So uh, I hope a lot of people go and, and show up, get their hair cut by Jimmy. Totally. All and right. have a beverage while you're there. Yeah. Thanks, Casey. <laughs> Great.